All right, Dave, all you gotta do is move forward like two feet, bro. That's it, just two feet. There you go, right there, Dave, right there. That should be money. Is it money? God damn. What? <laughs> Why can I not get it on the freaking strap, dude? What is this? What are these shenanigans? What's up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are on boring old I-8 going down to Calexico. Now, I just got off the phone with another guy from CFI. There's another guy uh, that I know from CFI. I talk to every now and then, ask him some questions and whatnot. He said, this is why he called me too, because I, at first I texted him and then he called me and said, uh, I just want you to know to uh, take your time and that Calexico is one of the harder spots to back that I've ever been to in the country. <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm, I'm pretty good. And that's the only place that I really struggled at. He said they put the trailers so close together that you can't even walk between them. And then also the lane that you have that you back, um, you know, where you back into the spot is very small too from where the trailers are on the other side. So I'm like, just freaking lovely. This is gonna be fun. So yeah, that's definitely gonna test a rookie, I guess. So that got me, like, I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to a yard. We're just gonna back it in, no big deal. And then I hear that. So yeah, guys, I don't know what to expect. Um, I just wanted to film and say that really quick. All right, guys, we are 10 minutes away. It is very lonely on this Highway 98 headed to Calexico. This is the first truck that's passed in a solid five minutes. It's very dark, desolate, scaly. This is weird. this or not what do I do 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 no I go straight oh god there's my CB thing <sighs> I almost screwed up dude okay so I almost screwed up there and took an exit that I didn't want to take but my GPS was showing it wrapped to the right and so I was like oh right here yeah it wraps to the right and I was like oh no that's an exit dude I almost screwed up it was kind of nice in this area though look the palm trees and look look these palm trees and everything pretty nice They're pretty nice oh there's trucks just parked along the side of the street right here dude i bet i could do that okay so it's gonna be right up here on the right is where the uh the gate is let's zoom in yep it's gonna be right up here on the right all right guys so that was about the most chill security guard i've ever met <laughs> um this actually doesn't look too bad it don't look too bad. Oh, I can back a trailer in this, dude. I can, bro, I can do this. I can do this. This is not bad. This is not bad. Now, now, if they're close together, yes. If they're super, super tight, we gotta hope we find a spot with two spots. That's as far as the lane. Oh, I can do this. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. As far as the lane, this this is big enough, dude. I, I was expecting tighter than this by the sound of everything, but yeah, like if you had to put it in between, like there's no way I could do that. Or, I mean, I guess I could do that, but that yeah, I see. This is going to be the hard part. The hard part's going to be getting this in between two trailers. That's that you wouldn't even fit the back end back there, dude. I don't think. Now a spot like that, that that's what I'm going to be looking for. But down here where the CFIs are. These are all TBM, so there's a CFI or somebody just decided to put it. Oh, CFIs. Oh, big old spot, bro. Big old, oh, it's on the blind side though. I gotta make a U-turn. I'm light, dude, I got 1,800 pounds in here. I can make a U-turn. Bro, right next to that CFI trailer right there. Look, there's all CFIs around here. See, that would, that would be big. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh boy, let's, let's, let's look a little bit more. Cause, uh, I, I mean, I can do that. Oh, right here. Bro, right here. Oh no, there's a trailer there. 
Yeah, these spots are super, super tight, dude. There's like no way that you could put them in some of these. I mean, that's right there. I don't know. Right here, right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I gotta turn around. That's where it's going. That's where it's freaking going, dude. Look, see if I try. Oh, that's a big spot there. Oh, let's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It don't matter. Let's just put the son of a bitch somewhere. Right here. Yeah, right there. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is too small. This is actually is kind of small. It tightened up over here. Let's see if I can make a U-turn. All right, let's see if I can make a U-turn up the road up here. See if there's a little bit more space to maneuver at the end. And then we'll come back through because there's a lot of spots on this side. There's not a lot of big spots on that side. See, there's no CFIs here. Oh, right here. Big ass U-turn, dude. Dude, they, they don't even seem to be like regulated like where they are. They're just kind of dropped. <laughs> like he didn't even ask me to say where I put it or anything. There's a CFI right there. There's CFIs here. Wait, do I put it here? Do it. There's CFI. Uh, right there, dude, right there. Yeah, that's where it's going. It's next to another CFI. That's where it, that's a pull through. <laughs> uh, this ain't that bad. What did everybody always, look at all this shit. There's CFIs down in pull throughs, bro. Oh man, got me all up in arms for nothing. All excited, look, there's CFIs back there too, dude. They just don't, nobody gives a damn. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. CFIs freaking everywhere, dude. I'm going to put it next to these CFIs. That way I'm not the only one that gets in trouble. I'd be like, bro, there's three other trailers there. They put it there first. It's their fault. <laughs> if this ain't the easiest shit. Are they, are they loaded, though? Or is this like a, is this like an empty trailer slot? Or what? I think I kind of overdid my... Uh, oh, yeah, those are loaded and dropped. Oh, he didn't put it on the concrete. He don't care about his freaking job. Look at that. Look, look, SCFI don't care about his job. Son of a bitch, got it all done. Boy, I'm calling CFI and reporting him. No, I'm just kidding, I ain't a snitch, dude. There's a lot of guys out here that are snitches. Trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of freaking snitches quick to go call the company and freaking brown nose their ass off and try to be a hero. There's a lot of them for CFI too. Anyways, let's make sure we got the landing gear right, guys. I'm way off <laughs> guys I'm off by a solid uh, six feet there <laughs> oh man I'm getting good at this ain't I guys I'm just so freaking good yes I'm in Calexico thank you very much computer yeah this was freaking goddamn dream yard what's the big deal about this yard I'm gonna tell that I'm gonna tell my CFI friend like bro I was able to pull through <laughs> Yeah, there's CFIs. I mean, there's CFIs everywhere. I don't know. There's, th there's two right next to me. I don't think it's a big deal. Oh, damn. I swear it didn't feel like I pulled up six feet. Seven? <laughs> Jesus. Come on, Dave. Get your act together. The sad thing is I'm not even doing this on purpose. Oh, my trailer's not straight, dude. It's not straight. I at least want the trailer to be freaking in the spot. There we go. Now she's even in the spot. That's good. Now I gotta figure out where the landing gear is at again. It's not a very big... God bless. It's not a very big uh, concrete strip. Good thing nobody's watching me. God dang, man. <laughs> Y'all shut up, man. Y'all just shut up. All right, Dave. All you gotta do. All right, Dave. All you gotta do is move forward like two feet, bro. That's it. Just two feet. There you go. Right there, Dave. Right there. That should be money. Is it money? God damn! <laughs> what am I, why can I not get it on the freaking strap, dude? What is this? What are these shenanigans? 
No, it's definitely got to go a little more. Okay. Bro, please tell me that landing gear is on that strip. God freaking bless. Bro, I swear I just I just burned like 200 calories getting in and out of this freaking truck 11 times. Right there, bro. It's got to be it. I'm going to say good enough on this one, bro. Fuck my job. <laughs> That's good enough. Fuck my job. <laughs> I, I'm done. I, I ain't centering this one, guys. It's on a concrete strip. <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious, dude. So I asked dude if uh, I can stay here. I was like, can I stay here till I get my next load? He was like, yeah, as long as you go like in the back, like, you know, out of the way, which I figured this is kind of out of the way. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna block anybody here. Um, yeah, it's crazy. That was just easy as hell. There's a lot of Swifts here and then the Danny Herman, but there's two other CFIs right here. So it's like, I guess that's fine. I mean, there's no lettering or anything that says this is CFI and this isn't. Just park it next to other trailers. See, they're loaded too. So, <laughs> this one might be empty. Well, if I need an empty to go somewhere, let's see. Four series. Yeah, it's an empty four series if I need it right here. I'm sure there's probably might be quite a few empties here, but take a nice little four series. She looks all right from first and first glance. Still got our little says a CFI seal. The, the company this is one of the few companies I went to that loaded me and they didn't seal the trailer. They didn't care to. Um, the other one was when I was carrying the big iron ingots. They didn't seal it either. But we have our CFI seals that we can put on ourselves. And then of course I send with my paperwork into CFI that basically says this it says CFI on it. Like this is the seal number and stuff. So I don't know, that's kind of what we do if that happens. Um were my tandems on the 40 like I thought they were yeah, right on the 40, dude. Uh, just a slight bit forward, but that's okay. You don't want them behind the 40, because then you're illegal in California. They might get you. All right, locks off. Landing gear's down. Got to disconnect all my uh, airlines and electrical. Pull the fifth wheel. And, boys, we will be looking pretty good. I need Velcro for this rug. I keep getting it all jacked up. It doesn't, get, it doesn't block my pedal or anything, but it gets a little bit jacked up after a while. I need some Velcro strips to uh, Velcro it down. Because I still want to be able to pull it up to shake it out. When uh, I forgot my flashlight. I think I'll be okay. I mean, I also didn't tell the security guard that I, I didn't, I wasn't like I'm gonna be here for my 10 hour break or anything. I just said, can I stay till I get my next load? And he said, yeah, it's fine. So I imagine, you know, a few hours or however long, they don't care. <sighs> yeah, I wish I had one of those automatic fifth wheel releases that you guys all talk about. <sighs> My coolant is not going off anymore because I fixed that. Um, we got a drop. Load completed, boys. 2,200 and something miles. Turn on my lights there, Dave. Let's go see what's in the back. I just parked by one of these CFI trailers, basically. I'll be out of the way. I mean, this place is not crowded at all, so I'm not really going to be blocking anything or anybody. Yeah, see, all these guys pretty much did the same thing. Just like, like I thought, I really thought this was going to be bad. Now, back there, try if you had only those spots back there at the back and you had to fit it in between that, that I can see being a pain. That looked like that would have been a pain. I would have probably had to pull up a million times to get that thing perfect in there. Look, so almost all CFI back here, dude. I tell you what, I'm going to do I'm going to back up into this end spot right here out of the way from everybody and everything so nobody wants to mess with me and I gotta wait for my next load anyways man I can't just you know it's like what do I do and I'm gonna be picking up here it's gonna be no parking spots at the truck stop
cut it, Dave. Shit. Dude, did I mark? Dude, did I not? Boy. Boys. Did you see that mess? Did you see that mess? That was freaking beautiful. I thought I cut it too late and I was going to hit the curb, but I sure didn't. Well, I would have stopped before I hit the curb, but... There we go. Bam. Sit right here and mind our own damn business. <laughs> Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.